Hey guys, welcome back to Programmer. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can pass an object between activities. This process is fairly simple when we are dealing with variables. All we have to do is use the intent.putExtra function to pass any variable we want. But when it comes to an object, it's not as simple. There are two ways to pass the object. One is by using the serializable class and the other is by using the parcelable class. It's proved to be faster by using the parcelable and that's what we'll be using in this tutorial as well. The first step would be to open the class file of which you want to pass the object. Implement the class parcelable. It would show you an error asking you to implement the required methods. Click on Alt Enter and then on Implement Methods. A dialog will come up with two methods, Describe Constants and Write to Parcel. Select both the methods and click on OK. It will auto-generate the methods for you. If you notice, there will be an error on your class name asking you to provide a creator field. You can click on Alt Enter again and then add parcelable implementation. It will auto generate the creator field and also create another constructor for you based on the fields of the class. And done! Your class is now ready to be passed between activities. I have created a sample activity with some fields where the user can enter their details. Once they click on the submit button, we get the data they entered and then create an object of the user class that we just created. We create an intent that points to the second activity. We then use the put extra function normally like any other variable. In the second activity's Java file, we receive the object that is passed to it by using the getIntent.getParcelableExtra method. We pass in the key that we had assigned in the first activity. We then display the properties of that object in a nice looking card. Let's run the app and see how it looks. We first enter the details in the first activity and click on submit. Parcelable does its magic and the object was successfully passed to the next activity. And that's about it. Do like and subscribe for more on-point videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.